right, let's get back to it, guys. Uh, want to say something first? Uh, first of all, thank you, Beeps. Uh, I want to give you a shout out. I did not know 100%, and I did say it in the comment, but I'll still want to say it here. I did not know that the triangle gem, uh, gem, and I say gem because I don't have any others to look look at this for, but um, I definitely did not know that the triangle gems gave more um, gave more critical damage uh, specifically uh, once you max them out. I did not know that. Uh, it's one thing I once you you've seen enough, enough gems and not just square gems, but I've seen you know a plethora of gems at plus you know 15 that I they all gave the same statistics. So when I came through here uh, specifically, I'll show this off on here. But I was like, uh, where are my triangles at? So I did have a crit damage on here. I did not realize that that went to 70% for a triangle gem. However, I'll I'll still, and while I'm in here, I might as well upgrade something for the daily. But I, I will I will kind of still want to just make sure I stand by what I say a little bit, though. Um, square gems in the game are the easiest to farm. I think we can all agree to that. The the where you get square gems, those are the easiest for players to get. And that's why again, I am going to talk about that in depth uh, for the new player guide specifically, but because of the easy the the ease to it and the way you get it, that's why you see most of my Astromon are square Astromon because it's just it's easier for me and it's easier for everybody to go out and get these square gems. Now, that's not saying you again, you can't have have Astromon like this, like this Victoria, for instance, has a square or a triangle gem in her. That's not, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just the biggest problem with, well, not the biggest, but one of the problems with Monster Super League is the ability to now, how do you change these gems around or anything like that? So, but again, I do appreciate 100%. I had no idea that that was, um, that that was something in the game, uh, before. And I have, like I said, I've diligently looked at my gems over the time and uh so thank you for that beefs uh the other thing i'm going to uh wanted to go out was straw hat you had asked uh, something specifically uh and this was regards to the uh super ascension and i'm actually going to just going to go ahead and do this right here so we all get the answer for it um it might be on reddit but i haven't gone out there so uh, what you had asked about the passive skill uh, of making a video or something about it. So again, I want to just talk about it here at the beginning. The passive skill that's on here is the random, right? And it really sucks that you got the, you know, the the recovery. I don't, I don't know. If you said recovery one, so I assume it was the recovery down on here. Um, but the one thing with these on on here is, it's not very clear when it says reset, right? It says, are you sure you want to reset the Super Ascension? Any Super Ascension uh, skills will be reset. I, oh, excuse me. I 100% think that if I click this 300 right now, I'm going to have to farm 100, um, uh, 100 things again to be able to ascend this Astromon. Now, I, I don't, but this is for science, so let's see what happens. Yeah. So that is pretty crappy. So what ends up happening is it doesn't get you this. You have to go back and farm 100 of these on here. Um, and then that look at the, I mean, just the cost here alone for high star stones uh, and then high dark stone just because I have this. So um, there you go. Uh, yeah, this is completely random and that kind of sucks. That definitely needs to uh, get changed. This is such a high cost for something, and uh, and don't worry about. I got fiery resolve on here, so this thirty five percent. Yes, this was this was okay to have on my Fenrir, um, but at the same time, going through all of these uh, specifically, um, it's hard to really point out. I I think I might have covered it. I don't know if it was in a daily or not, but th some of these definitely have more more pull in them than others and what you really got to do is just think about the scenario where these might actually be beneficial in again if you had like an attacker and then you had protection of the fallen um this the, i mean to be honest some of these a lot of these passive skills are just kind of meh in my opinion they're not great it's just another addition onto the game for it but uh so there you guys go uh we figured it out for science that wasting 300 gems on a resetting your passive skill makes you go ah i'll never go into the dimension dungeon again because it's too hard and it's too much of a pain in the butt 
Uh, but I digress. Uh, we're good here. Let's see. Uh, I already sent those out. Yeah. Let's get going here. So yeah, unfortunately, that is how it be for right now. And I can only hope that they're going to... Uh, I need to go on, on their Facebook and see. I, I did mention that I was going to say something about it to them. Uh, so I need to go on Facebook and see if other people have maybe said something or or what the, the general consensus so far is to to talk about with again when it comes to the dimensional dungeon uh, as it is uh the just i mean again and, and i i really don't want to make it sound like i'm complaining with it because it, it's just one of those things where there's so many there's so many combinations of bad with it that you know the guys you guys out there who have been able to get through it and auto battle it like again i know weep fella you know thank you again for you know, you gave it, you gave me advice on trying a team, or you told me what team you could do it in. And again, the guys out on Reddit, a lot of people on Reddit have been doing the same thing. My biggest complaint is the problem I have with it is a lot of the Astromon some some people have been posting have been the best Astromon in the game, right? And and this goes nothing again I, to 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 Weeb fella as well, you know. When he, you're like, well, I went in there with two fire drakas, um, you 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 know, uh, wood cherry for instance, and I forget what the fourth Astromon you had mentioned was. Was it? Oh, it was. Was it dark draka? No. It, I, I again I could go back and look at the comments but my point my point being is the Astromon that three of those Astromon right there because again I'm forgetting the fourth right three out of the four Astromon listed right there is unfortunately Astromon that a new player's shirt 100% won't have right so that cherry for instance cherry is a capture festival Astromon nobody no new player has that and I don't even to be honest with you the reason why I kept this wood cherry to begin with uh, that I remember was I remember reading her skills, and I told you guys, I like to collect the light and the dark monsters. I usually get rid of all the other colors for capture festivals. And it's just, and, and I do do an evaluation of most Astromon before I get rid of them, uh, once, I've, once I've gotten the Astro Gems out of the Astro Guide. But once again, like to new players or even people like me, let's say I got rid of my Wood Cherry, right? I'd be shit out of luck. You know, there's no other way to put it. And so. That's where I bring it back on on the developers for this game. That it's like you guys didn't think this through at all, did you? Um, and and again, you you heard how upset I got. I mean, I literally was like, play test your shit before you put it on your servers and make us deal with it, right? You know, I I hate honestly being a you know quality assurance uh, uh, person for them because once again, it's something new in the game. It's exciting that we get new content, we see new stuff, right? But, God, it's not uh, obtainable at all. It's just, it's that far out of reach. And it's and it's only for literally a small percent of the players out in the game to, to do it. And that mindset has to change. Uh, I kind of talked about it. I don't know if I actually even finished my thought about stuff like that. But one of the things that kills games, uh, you can look at this on, on a lot of, uh, uh, not just MMOs, but what kills these these kind of games in general right this is not an mmo by any stretch of the means but to keep your player base right you have to be willing to adapt to your newer players right and monster super league does have have a i'm not going to call it a steep learning curve but it does have a steep entry i know a lot of a lot of players because i was one of them you know eventually you hit it where you're like I don't know what to do now and I feel lost and that's why I'm trying with my like with the new player guides as, as slowly as those are coming out is trying to at least show you what I did specifically to push forward to get you know get into the next part get into the the end game to start having all these astromon that you see here and again I am not a strictly free to play account i do play a lot of it is free to play you will never see me buy gems for this account you will never see me buy gold for the account what i might do is buy cosmetics or or uh, other things but 100 percent, i'm not gonna sit here and and 
and, and lie to you guys that I'm that I'm free to play. I'm definitely not. I do buy uh, Astromon when I feel like it. But back to my point. My point is, is for newer players, right? You you turn you turn away your potential people who are going to stay here, who are going to maybe buy those you know cosmetics, and you turn them away really harsh harshly by putting in content that's only obtainable by like one percent of the players in the game. And that and that's kind of unfortunate to me. Uh, that's that's kind of the one one that stings a little bit. But my advice to them, you know, my I'm always open to talk to them. Uh, I'm 100% always willing to to have a conversation to hopefully shape the game or change something uh, better. But again, my voice is not everybody, uh, and that's. I'm not gonna say that's the beauty of it, but it's kind of the beauty of it, right? Is I don't speak for everyone, though. I do only speak for myself on what I do in the game, and I always try my best to make sure you guys, you know, even new play, new people who are gonna come into this channel, uh, and that subscribe or what, whatever, right? That you understand that I, I do speak for for what I do in the game, and it's not everything in the game. You guys only see only barely 70% of of the game itself. Um, that light Yuki, while I'm chit-chatting here, I need to actually think of how I'm going to beat this. There we go. So, but yeah, at the end of the day, what what I really, what, what I'm trying to, to promote and kind of put out there is they, they really do, ooh, are we going to live this? I don't know if we're going to live this. Well, we got taunted. She's going to hit again. Oh, man. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Serious talk on hold. Can my light succubus win? I don't think so. That, that fearless taunt is going to keep her alive. We're not going to get through that shield every turn. And she's got healing. Oh, this is a, this is, this is fail. I still have my team up saved from yesterday. HP, does this, does Grass Mona have? This is, this is funny. Does Grass, uh, or not Grass, would Mona have Adrenaline? I don't even remember. We're gonna watch this insanity fold out, unfold, because if I get my SP up, <laughs> I'm just gonna heal. <laughs> Oh, she almost killed her. Come on. I'm not going to heal for much, though. That's whack. I need to look at my, my wood Mona. All right. I shouldn't have lost that one, but we, we did anyway. Now, yesterday's revenge video was pretty good because of this four person stun I got. That was incredible when I got that yesterday. Uh, we're gonna stun you, hopefully. Thank you. And you always are in pain. I don't wanna see what comes out because it's going to have, unfortunately, all its SP, so let's do that. And we are just gonna do this now. Oh, gross. That's not what I wanted to see. Stun. Thank you. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter because my stunner and they're done. So we're just going to do this. All right. Sorry. Uh, concentrating. But now now we're kind of back on auto mode. Um, it, It's just, again, I want things balanced for everybody. I don't want necessarily something that is... Um, That one's interesting. Uh, I'm still going to go here. And I just realized why I have my Druidus here. I just want content balanced for everybody. It doesn't mean I... And I said this, I've said this one before too. I, it doesn't mean I want things easy, right? I, I don't... not asking for it to be easy. I do want it to be a challenge. Like, to, to give a good point of the, the Colossus dungeons and, 
and the new dimensional dungeon, right? Is 100%, I love the idea of the fun of going in there and going, all right, what is going to be the team that is going to be good against this, right? What's going to get me past that? And that's the, that's the craftiness, right? That's the creative part that's fun. And again, going back to Reddit and, uh, you know, uh, Weeb fella, how, he, you know, you helped me out. You told me, you know, this, try, try this, right? That's the fun, the theory crafting on a team specifically uh, to be like, all right, if we synergize with this person doing resistance down onto this, I'm going to get through, you know what I mean? It's that kind of forethought. And I love that. That is what's cool. That's what I love. I, I want to see for this game. But instead, what we're doing, what, what happens is we're smacked in the face by by things that are twice our level and is just hasn't been balanced at all. Has has zero balance and forethought given into it. And we all we've said it. We is we've said it in the comments, and you've heard me say it. Right, the second wave, that boss, that Radios, that that fully evolved Radios, is harder than the boss himself however when you get to the boss right and you go after him you still can't kill him because he's not balanced again and so it's uh, it's just again i i apologize i do sound like i'm just really ranting at this point but it, it it's it's true it really is true what they need to, to to do to to balance this and it's still all all kind of rolls back into the the talk about how I, I want things more balanced for for newer players so that they can enjoy the game, right? Because the only reason why I do have fun with Monster Super League every single day is because of the time and the effort I've put into it, right? But we're talking we're talking years of, of effort, right? And that kind of demand is just you know, it's it's not that's not the kind of demand that you want, especially when there are other mobile games that do just do things better i mean i'm not even i'm gonna be very blunt about that right you know there are there are other mobile games that while i'll i won't play them because of their monetary stuff because again i hate being i hate being thrown in my face every two seconds to go buy something from your shop it's like no or limiting the fact that i can do anything in your game without uh specifically paying 300 dollars to do something I think that was the most egregious thing I saw in one, I forget the name of the mobile game, but it was like, buy this plan for $10, or you could buy this plan for $30. Oh wait, there's but there's more, buy this for $70. And it got to the point where I'm just like, I'd rather put food on my table than pay for this crap. <laughs> you know, and, and I can even point that out with the light and the dark monsters in this game. You know, that's still, done that unfortunately when they're doing you know the super evolutions they know you'll never summon those monsters and if you do you got really lucky so they put it behind a paywall i mean look at what they just did with uh venus uh specifically she was a hundred percent you know you could buy as many as you wanted for 26.99 could you imagine dropping uh buying 10 of those right and that doesn't even get you a fully evolved astromon so you would buy have to buy four of them at twenty six ninety nine, and again I'm talking obviously United States dollars since that's what I'm that's where I'm at. But they literally say, hey, you'll probably never get this Astromon outside of this stuff here. Give us some money, and we'll give it to you now, right? It's the pay for convenience and and whatnot. But again, that's me talking about this as a game and not as a business, because obviously this is this is this is writing that line of they they care about this game. They sh they put a lot of love into this game. You can tell that to their credit. But one thing that you don't. Um, but the other part about it is it's still a business with this shop. They're still trying to keep the lights on so we have servers to go to um, that we can connect to and play. But if they want. If they want to keep those lights on, they they definitely need to start making some changes here. But I'm going to get off my high horse really quickly and finish this video up. What we're going to do is I want to get... I already pulled Mildew out. I've got you, so we're going to do this. We're going to get Mildew done on the evolution side here.
You get this knocked out. Finally have light mildew done and done. Ah, and the other thing I wanted to look at. Hold on. Dominance and an adrenaline. That's the other thing that the Dimensional Dungeon has taught me is this adrenaline thing. Um, and how important it is. Because if you've noticed, a lot of people's teams that they have, they put adrenaline in there. Right? And I think that's the one uh, Weep Valley you mentioned to, to swap in was my light... Um, was my my light um, succubus, which I did do, who had HP leech gems on her, who still had 140,000 health and was still getting one shot uh, by the Astromon in the dungeon. It was just like, well, this is this is fun. I I like this. <laughs> Let me see what you. Yeah, there it is. It is adrenaline. So she has adrenaline on her. That's why she lived. If he put he or she they uh, put HP leech on them. That, yeah, that was going to be an uphill fight for that, for sure. And they have Fearless Taunt even for that one. So, anyway, the, so uh, that'll do it for today. I uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will definitely be seeing y'all in tomorrow's video. Uh, there will be, tomorrow I plan to do some more recording on the uh, other account just so we uh, get more caught up on that so we get to start farming extreme so i will see you then